What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. And we have got a training guide for you today. It is a Kante. Now, I've actually been down on Kante since, I would say since launch. I've never really given him a good go. And most of the time, right, you are going to be coming up against guys that have got Makalele, that have got Davids, that have got Ambrosini, have got Busquets, any of those guys, Rodri, Casemiro, Fabinho, insert your favorite DMF that does a job for you in the middle of the pitch, you know, Barrios, any of those, Declan Rice, any of those guys in the defensive midfield area that are going to just win you the ball back, you know, get on the ball, have a load of contextual blocking and all that, you know, we know how heavy sometimes that the defensive interceptions can be, but I genuinely think that this Kante is a bit of a game changer, especially if you are a newcomer to the game. A lot of people still downloading the game or messaging me, who's the best player that will make an immediate impact? And apart from King Collar, lads, who you can get for free, I genuinely think that this Kante is one of the best cards that they've released. So we're going to go in, we're going to give you three training guides, depending on your formation, your tactics, and we're also going to have a couple of key tips for him as well, right? So the three versions that we're going to look at are going to be an attacking, a complete player, and a defensive-minded player. There is one that I think is the best, but you can kind of, you know, figure out which one is going to work for you, right? So the first one that we're going to look at is going to be the box-to-box -box complete player, right? So as you can see here, we have got him leveled up uh, to a 93 overall. It's not the highest he can go. He can go to 96 overall, and then you get plus two for the team play style. But this guy really fits into a, a squad that... You know, maybe you're playing a 3-6-1 or you're playing a 3-5-2 or you've got a lot of cover beside him, behind him and in front of him. If you want to play him as kind of like, a, he's kind of going to be like an attacking one. We'll have the attacking version in a second, but you still have that high tackling aggression and defensive engagement, which is what you want if you are looking to have a very competitive and combative midfield, right? The, the game in midfield sometimes can bypass your midfields. So a lot of the time, what you're going to be doing with your DMF is you're going to be holding the shape of your overall squad and using your DMF to kind of zip in and zip around the place. Um, and that's kind of what you need Kante to do. And with these stats that you have here, he's got excellent speed, high acceleration, brilliant balance and stamina. And of course, he's also got a little bit about him when he gets on the ball while still having that solid defensive base of 90 tackling, 91 aggression, and defensive engagement is in 91 as well. Still got low pass, tight possession, and of course, as we already mentioned, the ball control dribbling, and then you have the speed and acceleration, which are going to make you, you know, zip around uh, like a busy bee, kind of trying to like intercept, get in black, uh, in black, uh, blocking lanes and be able to kind of like really shut down opponents attacks and really shut down and block those areas that are you know most effective to, to for your opponent to go through right so that is what we've popped in there we popped nine into pass and ten into dribbling eight into dexterity five into lower body one into aerial strength and six into defending um aerial strength is kind of irrelevant to be honest with you you can put it anywhere you want even into team play style to get that one of your team play styles up to 99 right so the next one that we're going to look at here is going to be an attack in CMF. Now, this is the lowest rated um, option, right? As I mentioned with the last one, okay, the center midfielder. If you are playing Kante in an attacking role or a more advanced attacking role, right, there are a couple of good reasons why you could do that. Number one, as I said already, if you've got a really solid like DMF, right, that's able to, to block a lot of stuff, and be able to kind of intercept a lot of the passing lanes, such as Declan Rice, Makalele, Vieira, whoever you have in that DMF role, you know, Marquinhos, whoever, that is able to just be sitting in the in the hole, acting really as a kind of a, like a sweeper, or a third man centre back, that when you are losing the ball, that you can kind of, you know, um, take a lot of the pressure off, right? I think that this is kind of a guy that you can attack and defend from the front, you know what I mean? You're going to have 90 tight possession, you're going to have 86 ball control, 85 low pass, but you also have balanced stamina and speed and acceleration that will rival most center midfielders, right? On top of that, you've got excellent player skills. You don't need to worry about any player skills with this one. You do need to, if you're playing him defensively, I think he does have interception, man marking and sliding tackle and fighting spirit, but he also has double touch and one touch pass, which are insane stats for a player with these amount of uh, different abilities, right? Now, we haven't touched his defensive um, stats at all here. We've left it at the base uh, stats. I think that's enough. If you want to tweak that a little bit, depending on your play style, of course you can do that. Obviously, if you don't pass the ball that much, you know, you can take one or two off that and you could pop four into defending to have nearly 90 aggression and tackling and engagement, um, which will make a difference to this card. But for the purposes of this card, for somebody looking to kind of utilize Kante as that kind of link up man, as a kind of an attacking 
CMF, right? You could have, you know, a formation of a DMF beside a CMF that are kind of behind Kante and then Kante in the pocket, in the middle, orchestrating everything. And then you could have two AMFs in front of the two DMFs. So you could have a little kind of like a star-shaped uh, formation that will work well if you play through the center a lot and you play quick touch, you play long ball counter. So that is another option there. Not the best one. And I wouldn't really recommend that because you can get better players. If you look at Kovacic, he can play that role a lot better than Kante can. It's just that you can defend. You'll be so hard to pass through the midfield, especially if you're a good player and manual defending, right? And then last but not least, we do have the best ultimate version of him. In my opinion, this is the best. It is a man marker or an anchor man hybrid, right? So you will need to throw on blocker as a player skill on him. In my opinion, um, he has everything else. He does have man marking. And what we're basically going to be doing with Kante is we are going to be man marking uh, the player's attacking midfielder or else his SS or center forward. We want Kante to be back, you know, buzzing around like a busy little bee and just literally interception, intercepting, blocking, you know, doing anything to just disrupt the play. Just being an annoyance for your opponent, right? We've maxed out his defensive capabilities. We are obviously not going to take the risk because he's on C form. We're not going to take a massive risk with his defensive stats, right? Because chances are he probably will be on normal form arrow um, more often than not. He's not going to be like, you know, like the legend players or any of the players that have unwavering form. He's only got two here, as you can see. So I do definitely think you should really overcompensate the defensive. This guy is going to be doing one job and that's one job only, disrupting your opponent's best player. That's basically what he's going to be, right? So if you're coming up against Mbappe, Romario, I would be sticking Kante on as a man marker. He's got 89 acceleration with 90 stamina. That's more than enough to last the whole game and just frustrating, getting into areas of the pitch that your opponent will be frustrated with, uh, blocking everything. But he's also got some nice stats here as well that when he does get the ball, you can play out from the back and touch and go and on your way. So um, yeah, I would definitely throw on as an additional skill, I would throw on blocker here. He has everything else. Um, that you could possibly want on this card but blocker would be huge on this card and it would be huge in any card to be fair um you know but i definitely think this is the best version of him i would say either the complete version or this version of him but that is the best in my opinion there so that is it lads for kante i will be back quite soon as i said i would be throwing on a couple of other stats on him here um that standard form is a little bit of a killer on this card other than that he would be the epic killer one of the best cards that they have released, an insane card. And if you are starting off and you get him, he will be a game changer for you. So let me know if you want another one. Next up, we will be doing Kovacic, who I think a lot of people are also sleeping on. Until next time, lads, don't forget to subscribe if you have enjoyed the content. And we will be back very, very soon. We're hoping to stream a bit of Road to Glory today if we finish up work a little earlier than normal. Um, so yeah, if you want to have that, let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in that. Until next time, lads, let me know if you will spin or skip on Kante, and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.